Mr. Jones came in and he wrote strength through action. I believe that was the third day. That was his lesson of the day. Everything that he had been talking to us about the first two days with, with strength through discipline and strength through community really mean nothing unless there's action to go along with it. Not enough to think a certain way. You, you, we have to act in a certain way. Um, we have to be strong, we have to get rid of the weak people in the class, we have to get rid of the potential informers, the spies. Yes, we were part of a group, but now we had thinks out there. Damit kommen wir zur nächsten Stufe. Macht durch Handeln. Was nützen all die guten Ideen, wenn man auf dem Hintern sitzen bleibt und nicht danach handelt? Ich möchte, dass ihr eure ganze Kreativität der Welle zur Verfügung stellt, für die gesamte Gemeinschaft. Ja, okay, dann mache ich uns ein Profil bei MySpace. Klasse. Das wollte ich schon machen. Das könnt ihr doch auch zusammen machen. Nee. Mach ich was eigenes. Ja, pass auf, dann bau du doch einfach eine Homepage. Naja, und wenn sie dann uns das Logo macht, dann können wir uns ja auch so Buttons machen. Meine Tante hat eine Maschine dafür. Oder wir könnten so Tattoos machen, hier so am Arm. <lacht> Postkarten, die wir dann in den Kleidern ausrollen. Wir machen Hüte einfach für die. He started making posters, especially because I was interested in art. That was one thing I said, I can help out with that part of the experiment. People would, would cut letters out of magazines and glue them onto pieces of paper, and then he put all these up on a wall in the classroom. There were new flyers that you had to pass out. He really just wanted us out there talking about it. Uh, there were tables set up in the corridors where members of the third wave from Mr. Jones' class would try to enlist other students. It was between classes and I'm walking down this hallway and at this point I encounter a table like this where there are two guys standing behind it. There is a banner on the wall and the banner says the third wave. Underneath the third wave it said strength through unity. At this point one of the guys comes around the table and asks me if I'd like to join the third wave. Never heard of it before, don't have a clue what it's about. And when I asked him what, what it was, he said, strength through unity. That's all he could tell me. I asked him again, so what do you stand for? The other guy chimes in, strength through unity. They constantly repeated this mantra without really telling me what this was about. At this point, I decided, no, I'm not interested. I'm going to walk away. And as I start to take a step away, one of the guys walks around the corner produces a small spiral wound binder and a pencil and what he's going to do is he wants my name. I refused to give him my name. The other guy started to move over like it was actually going to be confrontational. At that time I was getting ready to go to battle. It looked like maybe it was going to be a fist fight right here in the hallway. We would have bodyguards around him. So of course whenever we saw Ron Jones walking in the hallways, he would be getting salutes, he would be saluting, his bodyguards would be saluting, and we would be saluting back. So there's this, this group, this master and his group would be walking through the hallways and creating this wave of, of, of salutes as he went through. <laughs> Was soll denn das? Ist das so ein Knall oder was? Dich lassen wir auch nur rein, wenn du den Gruß machst. Was für ein Gruß überhaupt? Hey! Ich kann euch so nicht reinlassen. Was? Warum denn? Holt euch ein Wellehemd. Draußen sind noch welche. Ich will euer scheiß Wellehemd aber nicht tragen. Alle tragen die. Jetzt stell dich nicht so an. Du spinnst doch echt. Die rechte Seite ist für uns geblockt. Ihr habt sie doch nicht mehr alle. He gave us our third wave ID cards. And this was, again, I just reached in my drawer and there was a bunch of index cards. So I pulled them out and passed them out to each student. And he said, all these cards are going to be blank except for three of them, which will have a red X on them. With the idea that if you get a red X on your card, 
you're a little special. You three are going to be the informants. This is a Strength Through Discipline membership card, and this was the one that I put together for the class. And this was the one I made. I was very into psychedelic colors at the time. <laughs> You know, I used to paint myself with all kinds of psychedelic colors, so I made a very psychedelic kind of card. What I remember was that he actually used the word Gestapo. Just to report to me anyone who doesn't go along with our community values, which was the salute if you saw another community member. We were to salute each other as we passed in the halls. We were also to salute each other when we uh, passed each other off campus. Parents always think they know everything. Hey! <laughs> I don't know. He's not in our history class. Now, you all have membership cards. If you turn them over, you will find that some of them have been marked with a red X. You got a red X, you are to be monitors. and will report directly to me any members who don't obey our rules. Discipline and community are meaningless without action. Now, discipline gives you the right to action. A disciplined group with a goal can take action like a well-oiled machine. Now, through hard work and allegiance to each other, you will learn faster and accomplish more. But only if you support one another, and only if you work together and obey the rules, can you ensure the success of the way. Now you are all to actively recruit new members. Each new member must demonstrate knowledge of our rules and pledge strict obedience to them. Mr. Ross, for the first time I feel like I'm part of something great. Mr. Ross, this is like being born again. Mr. Ross, I feel the same way. Mr. Ross, I'm proud of the wave. Anyway, he passed out all these cards, and three people got the red X's. However, more than three people were turning in names. I knew everything that was happening. It was scary to know minute details about what someone was telling their parents or what someone was telling their best friend. Another rule was to not gather in groups larger than two both in class and out of class and off campus, even at home. I don't think we were to talk too much other than if you have a trusted friend, maybe bring them in. You never knew who might turn somebody in. And when there were these mock trials, you never know if somebody had actually turned the person in or if it was just made up. In this classroom, uh, with Mr. Jones at the head of the classroom and us sitting in, the, in our rows, he would come into the class and tell us that he had heard from a secret police and there had been violators that had to be uh, tried that day. And he would stand up in front of the class and he would say, so and so, and they would snap to attention at their desk and stand up next to their desk. Uh, you have been seen in the company of known revolutionaries. Um, what do you have to say about that? And all of a sudden the class would start chanting in unison, guilty, guilty, guilty. And Jones would go over to his desk, grab one of his ditto forms and says, you are hereby exiled to the library for the duration of the experiment, whenever this class meets there, hereafter on a daily basis, you are to go to the library, you are never to come back to class. And that student would be escorted out the door and they'd be gone. Scareder they were of being caught themselves or being hurt, 
the more they gave up information on people. Things like that were going on, and it was a, a complete small little society of this going on. And it was dog eat dog for your grade. At that point, we knew we had slogans, rules, sense of direction, and we had a secret police to make sure we followed the rules.